All right, landed in Houston. I'm gonna try to use up one of these United Club passes, so I'll keep you updated on that. Here's the United Club at Gate E, Houston, Texas. Let's do it. All right, even though I've only got an hour in this lounge, I think I might get a shower. Just, you know, why not shower in an airport? All right, this is the third floor of the lounge. Downstairs, they've got like a bunch of like soup and salad and food. And... All right, I'm signed up to take a shower here at the United Club in Houston. What up? I mean, honestly, they could do a little bit better job of uh, giving food to people. I mean, this is really kind of pathetic. All right, United Club showers. Apparently, they just cleaned this for me. So I'm in I'm in the Houston airport. Gonna get a. Shower. All right, I'm naked. There's my towels. There's my clothes. I'm gonna take a shower. What up? All right, I just got done taking a shower here in the United Club. Feel great. Feel uh, clean. Flight. To all right, it's 3.30 p.m. My flight leaves at 4 p.m. Boarding closes at 3.45. I'm still chilling in the... I'm about to catch my flight to Peru. Lima, Peru. Let's do it. All right, I'm out. I'm out amongst, like, the common people. Scrubs. Just straight up scrubs. Oh, shit. Last one to board the flight to Lima, Peru. That's how I do it. Check this out. There's my plane. <laughs> Shit, even though I took a shower and I'm the last person to board, this is still total chaos on this flight. Oh, my pet peeve is people that freaking put too many bags on carry on. United Airlines food. Been in Peru, Lima Airport. Let's do this. Welcome, welcome to Peru. This is how we do. Don't with drugs in Peru. This guy was holding a sign with written on it. So here I am in Lima, Peru. This guy's hooking me up. Yeah, we're in Lima, Peru. Listen to Van Halen. Straight down the middle of the line. Whoa, this is crazy. This is my room here in uh, Lima, Peru. This is like one of the top rated hotels too. Like, this is crazy. All right, first night in Peru. I'm going out, I'm gonna see what's up. Check, check it, check it. This is absolutely insane. Like, all I want to do is like, go buy a beer or something and like, can barely get in some Suffice it to say, my sleeping pattern got screwed up, so now it's 5.30 a.m. and I'm out walking around Lima. Alright, I'm currently at Love Park or Parque de Amor. Pretty famous spot in Lima. Alright, and here is the famous statue of this couple kissing. And it's a pretty cool view of the Pacific Ocean. You can see some... I pretty desperately need some water, some coffee some food but it's like nowhere's freaking open it's weird all right that's la rosa nautica and then some beaches pretty cool walkway here in lima there's literally just parks everywhere here it's pretty cool there's the uh marriott had no choice but to come to the Marriott for breakfast, but check this thing out, like Guana Diro or something, something like that, Guana Diro. Mm. 
crunchy. I just said I had some of this stuff too. Tuna fruit, also crunchy. Feel 10 times better after eating and drinking some coffee. Just grabbed a taxi. We're gonna head to Central Lima, check out some places. Central Square in Lima, Peru. Apparently this fountain in the middle here was built in the 15th. And this right here is the Lima Cathedral. I'm about to pick myself up a Peruvian SIM card so I can quit paying Verizon's $10 a day travel pass BS. Alright, this is called the San Franciscan Monastery. And I'm just looking at it, walking around. Some guy just talked me into buying like five of these, five bucks, whatever. Kind of cool though. All right, apparently at the government palace at noon, there's a thing called the changing of the guard, which I guess I'm gonna go try to walk. This is the government palace. Some important person just went in there, but I think this is where they do the changing of the guard. I'm not sure though. Well, I don't know what happened, but Apparently they're not doing the change of the guard at noon because people spoke a bunch of Spanish and then everybody left, so. So I'm gonna go check out the catacombs and then uh, go to another museum and then probably eat and then close to calling it a day after that. It's a real bummer I couldn't take any photos or video in that monastery or the catacombs. It was nuts. 400 year old books, a bunch of human bones and skulls. It was crazy. Just picked myself up some uh, coca leaves, five soles. See how these things taste. All right, I'm in Museo de Larco. Apparently the largest collection of pre-Columbian artifacts, so pretty sweet. It's crazy these gold uh, nose ornaments are from 1250 BC to 1 AD. And these ones are from like Silver crowns and adornments from 1300 to 13, no, to 1500 AD. This is a Chimu funerary offering gold from 1300 AD. The Chimu were the greatest metal workers. Just walls and walls and walls of pre-Columbian pottery here. <laughs> 